tonight on BDT TV. Hello and welcome to the inaugural episode of BDT TV. I'm Tim Plumonin, but enough out of me. Let's jump right to a story with our senior butter correspondent, David Booth, who's out in the field right now. David? Thank you, Tom. I'm standing outside the Van Valais Center, or as most people know it as, the Butter Dome, where it is believed that inside an illegal butter churning operation is taking place. Um, David, I'm sure most people who refer to the Van Valais Center as the Butter Dome do it as a reference to its architectural design and painfully bright yellow complexion. But don't forget the taste, Tim. I had an exclusive look on the inside of the Butter Dome, and what I saw was disturbing at best. What exactly did you find, David? Absolutely nothing, Tom. A few empty rooms, a track field, a swimming pool, and the undeniable evidence that an illegal butter operation, or butt-op as we in the business call it, was apparent. What kind of evidence could possibly lead you to believe that there was a butt-op occurring in the Van Vliet Center? The floors, Tim. I beg your pardon? The floors, Tom. You cannot stand up or stay up for the life of you. That, and the lack of slippery when wet signs, shows me that the floor is not actually wet, but covered in scalding hot, illegal melted butter. David, you're slipping on wax. Oh, am I? Or am I blindly following an assumption with no credibility whatsoever, digging a hole so deep that not even a reporter such as I can get out of? That's exactly what you're doing. Back to you, Tom. Alright, thank you for that report, David. And now off to story with our visible minority reporter, Brad White. Brad? Thanks, Jim. Hi, I'm Brad White reporting live, where moments ago a devastating scene occurred that can only be described in, well, one word. This. It is believed that two men, one by the name of Doom, and the other man, well, he was, only belie he was believed to only have been super were arguing over the lowering price of gas when suddenly this explosion occurred. One witness from across the street says he's seen everything happen. Hi, can you tell me what happened to this Superman? Um, I don't know what you're talking about. Superman died in issue 75 of his comic. He, uh, he was fighting with Doomsday in front of the Daily Planet. And they just beat the crap out of each other until they were both dead. You, you quail tard. Okay. I'm a quail tard. Back to you, Jim. Thank you for that incredibly irrelevant story, Minority. Uh, I mean Brad. And now off to a story of mammoth proportions. The city of Edmonton has decided to hold the universal largest game of hangman Ralph Klein has gone on record to say he would love to beat the previous record holder held by Uranus. 